Hello everyone and welcome back for another Star Trek Starships Collection review. I have issue 123 in front of me, the Romulan science vessel seen on uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. And uh, as you can see, I have a wonderful looking ship and magazine here. So I will just put the model aside for a few minutes while I uh, show you the goodness that is inside the magazine. Okie dokie, so here we are, the Romulan Science Vessel, issue 123. Uh, it is considered a science ship in the 24th century, with a crew of at least 100, and uh, it is 300 meters long. Nice image there on the cover. Turn the page, stand assembly there on the left hand side, as well as more spec on the right. Operated by the Romulan Star Empire, considered a science ship in the 24th century, 300 meters long approximately, and uh, a crew of 100, <laughs> says 100 meters there, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, this thing can go as fast as warp nine, and uh, it has disruptor cannons for its primary source of weaponry. Turn the page, you have a, another view of the ship there, which is cool, as well as some various text about it. And more on that. I think this was the episode called The Next Phase, if I'm not mistaken, from Next Gen, when uh, the Enterprise was uh, kind of trying to assist this Romulan scout ship or Romulan ship science ship that was on the verge of having a warp core breach or whatnot and so they put like an energy beam to transfer power to it and in the process uh was going to cause an explosion on the enterprise but etc 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 et so more about them and more about that and finally the uh plan view showing you where the various components are located and as well as trivia on the right and left hand sides of the pages and here's a section on the creation of the Romulan science vessel which itself is a modification of the Romulan scout ship that was also seen on next generation which coincidentally is also another ship that we got in the collection many, many months ago. And uh, here's some magazine filler on Rick Sternbach and his contribution and work on the various Romulan vessels seen in Star Trek. And more on that, as well as some of the science behind it, which is kind of cool. And more on that, especially with their uh, quantum singularity drive. And finally, the on-screen appearance page. Its first appearance was in the next phase and uh, on the next generation, not Voyager. So that's a magazine blooper. Uh, it was on the next generation and designed by Rick Sternbach and Greg Jean. So yeah, that was kind of cool. And uh, looks like the month of June will bring me the SS Emmett, another Enterprise era ship. So that ought to be cool to share with you. And turn the back and you get another view of the uh, science vessel there. So that pretty much rounds up the uh, magazine. And now, Let's jump onto the Romulan science vessel itself. All right, and there it is. Another gift of the Romulan star empire. So let me open this box and show you the goodness that lies inside, shall we? All right, and here it is, the Romulan science vessel itself. And I have to say, it looks pretty darn awesome. 
the color looks fantastic and uh, it's got the green in there for the warp nacelle and uh, has a weird uh, kind of I guess bow but friends and fans will notice that this ship and the model of course bears a striking resemblance to this one now this is the Romulan scout ship that we got several, several months ago, maybe more than that. And uh, the two look identical, except the fronts are different and you have the addition of a sensor pod in the back. And uh, they're both roughly about the same size and uh, they fit in the palm of your hand kind of like that. But uh, this is pretty awesome. It's nice to have another ship in the, in, and a part of the Romulan fleet now. Uh, it's about time we got another Romulan ship in the collection. Uh, I wish we would have another Cardassian ship or another Ferengi ship, as I've said many times. But um, it's nice to get another Romulan ship for a change. And um, this is a pretty awesome model. There are no identifying marks on here as saying this is from the Romulan Star Empire. But of course, any Star Trek fan who has any kind of passing familiarity with the show will know, oh yeah, this is definitely Romulan uh, in design. It's very green, very nice paint applications there. Um, like I said, you have the clear green for the warp nacelle and it kind of comes out the front there. Very nice. Got your nice panel there, which you can feel uh, the sensor pod, which almost appears like a fin of some sort. Is really cool which if you think about it is very much in keeping with the Romulan designs of having wings and fins and and whatnot so it actually fits perfectly um, the end the front end doesn't have any kind of clear parts which is okay um, it's kind of hard to decide which is top or bottom I think this is the top or is it this way I have to go back and look at it actually uh, it's this way. Yeah, this way. So this is actually the top. Or is it this way? Who knows? Um, either way, it's still a really nice model. And um, I'm very happy with it. I was, <laughs> to be honest, kind of looking forward to it. And uh, it will look very, very nice next to this one, of course. And uh, as you can see, like I said earlier, the two are just virtually identical, minus the front end of the ship, which is very much different. But from the neck back, on back, minus the sensor pod, it's the same ship, same body. Um, it is definitely a cool model and a cool ship. If you're a fan of the Romulan Empire and Romulan ships and Romulans in general, then definitely go out and pick this up. Uh, this is a nice addition to the Romulan fleet that we've gotten so far. And we have several Romulan ships, almost all of them, I think, by now. Um, and it is definitely worth your time. For the most part, it is all, all plastic uh, with a few metal components thrown in for good measure. Uh, I think this is, no, that's plastic. And this is metal on top of the wings here. Uh, but the majority of the ship, uh, like its predecessor, are all plastic and uh, it is definitely worth it but if you're not a fan of the, the alien races and you're mostly cherry-picking Federation ships or whatever then you can avoid it um, but to me this is one of the better ships in the collection as far as alien ships goes and I guess I just like the design of the Romulan scout ship and the Romulan science ship um, and it is cool it's a really nice ship it's a really nice model and uh, Eagle Moss did a really good job this time around. My only quibble is that I would have liked to have seen a symbol of the Empire maybe on the top of the wing or on the bottom of them, or maybe even somewhere right here or right here or on the top or on the back or something or some kind of symbol or, you know, languages, like language font or anything like that. That's the only thing that I think that could have been done differently. And, uh, but other than that, it is a pretty solid model. Really good. Um, definitely worth your time. 
Uh, and if you're a fan of Next Generation, then of course pick this up. And uh, so yeah, that my friends is the Romulan science vessel seen on Star Trek The Next Generation in the episode The Next Phase. If you have any questions or comments about the ship uh, or anything, please feel, to, feel free to drop me a comment down below. And if you would be so kind as to hit subscribe and watch more of my little videos, I would be so grateful and very appreciative to all of you. And uh, yeah, until next time, live long and prosper. And uh, as the Romulans say, Jolan True.